Hello everyone, welcome to Part Development in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. In this video, I present the first draft of Strato Launch. I'm not going to release it yet because there's a lot of things to do and it's a little bit weird. Well, okay, it's a lot weird. So for those who don't know, Strato Launch is a basically a first stage. It's a carrier plane that would have a space plane or something like that or some payload hang off the middle here. And it's got a capacity of 250 tons. For said payload, uh, though in real life they haven't actually done that kind of thing yet. Uh, but it is the largest plane in the world by wingspan ever, and it uses six of these engines. Well, I'm not, I don't think using the right engines here. Uh, they use Pratt and Whitney engines, but these will suffice. Uh, these were out of the box ones, so uh, in other words, we I already had the configuration for them, and I think they'll work out just fine. Got a lot of little engines around here, but anyway. Uh, so these I did not make. I just made the body and the wings and the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers. I didn't make the, the landing gear. But there are a lot of complications with this. First complication, uh, the cockpit's actually on the right side. Uh, so that's asymmetrical. The windows here are meaningless. There's nobody in there and nobody can be in there. So yeah, that's a little bit weird. And the second thing is, of course, this part of the wing and how you deal with that in fair mirror space. If I use the Giulio Dondi uh, farm module that he created for the shuttle, I might be able to do something with that. But otherwise, FAR doesn't like body lift. And it doesn't like lift that occurs in the middle. Uh, it, it's a, it likes symmetrical things. Uh, so this, of course, has lift and FAR. And that has lift and far, and the mass strength is being applied by far and all that. And same with the back things too. But right now, this center wing does not create lift. Uh, I will need to decide what to do with that. And so the question mark for today is, can we fly this, even though I'm not giving this part any lift? Only the outer wings, the horizontal and vertical stabilizers get lift. This does present a problem with the center of lift, as you can see. Uh, it's leaning a little bit far back because of those. I think it's a little bit too far back though, but of course it would be further forward if this part got lift, right? I mean, uh, so, or there was added pressure because of the nose. So that is a question for us. As far as the masses are concerned, we should be correct. It says end mass 226 though. Maybe that's a little bit light. Let me double check. So on, nope, that's right. I got it. So uh, on Wikipedia, it says the empty weight is 226 tons, 226,796 kilograms in particular. We are about 100 kilograms heavy. So that's not too bad um, because, you know, I didn't actually make the engines. I didn't make the landing gear. So those had to be subtracted out of everything else. So we are otherwise carrying... Uh, 160 tons of fuel, almost 160 tons of fuel, in the form of 100,000 liters of kerosene in each of these wings. I don't know how much it actually carries, but we're nowhere near the capacity. The maximum takeoff weight is 589 tons. And I'll decide what to do about the lift based on how this flight goes. So what speed we take off at, I'll figure out something to do with the... I could just put the stock lift module. It's not perfect, but it, it could be workable for our purposes instead of requiring the special version of FAR that Giulio Dondi uses with the shuttle. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking about right now. But there are other issues, like uh, because the cockpit is here, that means that the origin of everything had to be here, because otherwise the IVA wouldn't be placed right. So the actual origin of the model and everything is here. And that, as you can imagine, causes all sorts of problems. Uh, I had to move the center of mass back over to here manually. The center of lift is being calculated as it is, but uh, yeah, that, uh, but, well, you'll see on the runway, you'll see on the runway that, that, that this is all very interesting. Uh, basically, there are four types of parts here. There's the body with the center bit. So if we type in the launch, see the bodies are combined with the center wing. It's all one piece. Uh, that's how I decided to do it because 
I think it'll be less complicated that way for everybody. Uh, the horizontal stabilizer is its own thing. We just have four copies that are identical. It seemed like the wing pieces were symmetrical top to bottom. So I just made one wing piece and you just flip it around and it should be symmetrical. And vertical stabilizer is still the same on both sides. So everything is sort of symmetrical, but you can't place it symmetrically, right? If you try to place the wing symmetrically here, well, it floats off over there because again, this is zero zero. So great, right? Great. So you have to place them one at a time anyway. Uh, also, they need to be rotated a little bit. Uh, both the uh, the vertical stabilizers and the wings need to be slightly rotated. Uh, putting them on the nodes doesn't quite rotate them exactly right because I wanted to make sure that the control surfaces worked right. So yeah. Oh, the center control surfaces here currently don't do anything. So again, this is why I'm not releasing it yet. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So with that being said, let's see how it works without lift being generated on the center portion and with maybe slightly incorrect engines, but that, that shouldn't be a problem. These are about the right size. And yeah, I'll decide what to do about it there. So first test of strata launch in Kerbal Space Program. I don't know if anybody else has made a strata launch. It is a pe peculiar thing. I made it really, really simply because after all, it is just white and the lines are very simple. This is the first plane I've ever made that I made the body using a cube instead of a cylinder <laughs> because it's so cubical at the back end. And the entire plane is just one megabyte. That's, that's how much it took. So I could have put the Strata Launch logo on the side and that would take extra megabytes, but I haven't decided to. After all, uh, the rights to do that are a little bit iffy, so... Oh, let's check the control surfaces. Okay, elevator is working. I set them to do their particular thing. And roll... Okay, ailerons seem to work. See, uh, we'd be controlling from this side, right? If you... See? It's like this. There's just uh, Mark uh, 3 cockpit, the stock one. Okay, let me try and... Okay, rotating is fine. Let me see. Let me see. Atmospheric autopilot. Uh, pull up as hard as I can. Okay, it looks like we're going up. Alright. So it works. Okay, don't go down though. But if we're going to carry anything with it, we probably need some extra lift. Not the right place for this, I should have flown at Edwards. All right, well, yeah, well, this is better than I expected. A lot of the fixing had to do with placing the nodes in the right place for the wings and all. Let it gain some speed by diving here. This regard pilot isn't like holding it as much as I'd like it to. Probably because it's nose heavy. Okay, along the coast and the launch pads. It loses speed a lot when going up. The straight wing is a definite good idea in this case because it means all the fuel is in line with the payload. 
So there's no shift in the center of mass like that. So yeah, I was working on this during July 4th. If you were wondering why I didn't have a video out. For a one megabyte plane, it's not too bad. Of course, that's not including the engines, so. So technically this is like scale composites model something or another. Scale composites model 351. Strata launch, but then it's also nicknamed Rock. So some people might know it from that name, Strata Launch Rock. I really wish the engines sounded like they were on idle. Turning even a little bit slows us down quite a lot. The ailerons really have a lot of drag. Okay, well, eek, all right, all right, all right, brakes, I don't like the way it kills all the sound, but all right, brakes, well, of course it takes a long runway, it requires a 12,000 foot runway, this thing, I'm sure with thrust reverses it'd be better. I have not action grouped the reverse thrust that these engines, since they seem to be based on the stock ones, stock models, probably do have thrust reversers. Okay, well, there you have it. First flight of Strata Launch Rock. Uh, I'll add some more details and fix things and describe how to put it together later. Well, tell me what you think about the lift situation, but we need to test it with payloads, really. At least I've gotten this far, so that's good. Oh, there's some weird shadowing thing going on here in the Mark III cockpit. Uh, and apparently my rest prop monitor doesn't work, so that's not great. But, okay, uh, that's just this install. Probably it'll work in a different install. So, yep, there you have it. So for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.